Here we are leaving Indianapolis, Indiana on December 13th. Uh, the cruise wasn't until the 14th. We went down one night early because it was cheaper. <laughs> we landed at 10 p.m. in Florida and Cameron had some friends, childhood friend in Florida, so we went out to Wynwood, <laughs> went to a, a really fun bar. We boarded on the third floor of the cruise. I was so amazed with all the shops, all the people. It was my first cruise. So I didn't get the most footage of the whole process of boarding, but inside was absolutely beautiful. Here's a quick view of our room. Pretty decent size. This is the Lido deck. I was so amazed with all the people and just the massive boat. We are in Florida. It's about 2 p.m. and we don't leave until 4, so we just ate and relaxed on the deck. We explored a little. They had a, a cool obstacle game room, mini golf, um, things like that, or I guess putt-putt. I don't know the difference. And a sky coaster see the slides on the other side so it's a lot of things to keep you entertained and this was on the 12th floor we got to see another boat passing us and it was really cool to see just the enormous size of the ship and here's our sail away from Florida. They had a, a really big party music going on. A really fun vibe. Here's just a look of the ship. It's like huge. This was the 11th floor, I think. You definitely gotta work out <laughs> on a cruise, all the walking. I'm going to the back of the boat now. They have pools and hot tubs. And they have some food places and bars down there. This is one of my favorite areas of the boat because I absolutely love the water in the back of the boat, how beautiful it was. That was like a little private area, Havana Club. I wanted to go down there, but <laughs> it was special for rooms. They had a really great candy shop that we went in. A really nice sports bar. Cam and I came in here a few times to watch games. The elevators are pretty cool. Check. Car K. This is our first night dining. 
we went with Cameron's cousins. It was about six of his cousins. Yeah, I'm gonna throw some bread on my I don't want like a little chunk. <laughs> This is a full first day at sea. And we were going to be at sea the entire day. I woke up and ran to the dock. It was maybe like 8 a.m. And I was so amazed with all the water, nothing but water all around. It's a really nice sunny day. Here is just a glimpse of the hallway leading to our room. We stayed on the first floor. We did not have a window or balcony. So we do want that next time because it was extremely dark at night and in the morning. You never knew what time it was. Here's our bedroom. The bed was really comfortable and they always had cute little figures when we came back to our rooms. We had a nice size TV and a mini fridge. One day they like took out our drinks and poured it out, so that was weird. Even though it was in our fridge. We had to keep our room key in the slot to keep the light on. Decent sized closet. We only put our clothes that we wore in the closet and we kept our new clothes in our suitcase. There's me. I didn't get the picture of the bathroom, but it was decent size. Nice sh hot shower. Here are the slides on one end of the ship. I was on the cruise for eight days and I kept saying I would get on the slides and I never did. It was a nice mix of adult and children on the slide, so welcome for anybody to use. And again, my favorite part of the boat. At Sea Day, we kind of just explored, walked around, enjoyed the beautiful view of the water. We ate a lot. <laughs> it's like unlimited food, of course. Look at this all day. It was so beautiful. We took some selfies and pictures around the ship. There were events going on, but we just didn't want to go to them. We wanted to stay outside. Then we went to go eat. This was on the fourth or fifth floor, and I really liked how close we were to the water. It was, seemed like we were going super fast, but you could just see the waves more. We were getting some barbecue at Pig and Anchor. It's a Guy Fieri spot. We had a nice view. It was super quiet, super peaceful. One of my favorite things about a cruise is just so relaxing. And the barbecue was pretty good. The mac and cheese could have been better, but <laughs> it was pretty good food. We went to go get drinks at the bar and went up to Serenity to relax in their cabanas. Cameron was asleep, but of course, you know, I had to take some selfies. And this was the first full sunset. I think we missed it day one. We were like eating or too busy exploring the inside. So day two, I made sure that we saw the sunset. So pretty.
Then we got ready for dinner. We went outside to take some pics, of course. <laughs> Cameron really likes to take photos. Dinner was really entertaining. They had good music, dancing in the beginning. Had us all wave our napkins around our head. Cameron obviously had all the moves <laughs> for dinner. And I had two plates of this. It was really good. It was boiled lobster, shrimp, broccoli, nice chocolate dessert. The food was really good. We went to the club the second night. It was okay. Maybe too many chairs. We only went like twice. But lots of people were in here all the time. Thank you for watching day one and two at sea. And I'll catch you in the next video.